a little preface for this. Preface! Okay, that, that joke aside. Someone else showed a clip from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It's ringing pretty close to home for everyone who's about to be evicted. Here's something I should have shown a clip of a year or two ago. I fall from grace. This was the last edition, by the way. They shut down the presses after I wrote them. But they couldn't keep me silent. I continued to speak out in favor of self-determination. That's when he lost his mind and started trying to destroy himself. We had no choice but to confine him, but for his own safety. Not for my safety, for theirs. I was the greatest threat the Continuum had ever known. They feared me so much they had to lock me away for eternity. And when they did that, they were saying that the individual's rights will be protected only so long as they don't conflict with the state. Nothing is so dangerous to a society. Did you listen intently and closely? The individual's rights should only be protected when they don't conflict with the state. How many times has the United States done that? Not the exact same thing with Q, but locked people away because their rights conflicted with the view of the state. Because what they said, or what they did, conflicted with the state. What was that fellow's name when we they were talking about for a little while? He was a whistleblower. It wasn't the dude behind WikiLeaks. That was a completely different guy. Ah, Edward Snowden showed how the state's rights, or rather the, the state's actions, not their rights, are infringing upon the most basic fundamental rights of the individual. That's one really good example. How many more? I could point to loads of more examples. I really could. But let me summarize this for everyone's understanding. Concisely, precisely, bottom line, the bare minimum truth that everyone needs to understand. It's time for the state and the feds and all the associated bullshit with it to die. I'm ready for the corrupt to die. How about you? <laughs>